Okay guys, we got a 2017 Hyundai Elantra 2 liter uh, GDI. Uh, wow, it's misfiring. This thing's been in the shop so many times and could not get it to act up. Um, this lady's been chasing this and chasing this and chasing this at the dealer shop, or <laughs> dealership and other shops. And we've had it and just had no luck getting this stupid thing to act up. And it's, you know, it's been sitting all day. Wasn't expecting, I was gonna go down a different route uh i had reason to believe that maybe the crank sensor was faulty because i it was surging one of the other times but now it's misfiring and it's always set cylinder three misfire codes um but i've never ever experienced a single misfire on it the one time i went for a drive like a half hour drive um and yeah i've looked at this thing like four different times over the course of half a year but it's misfiring i don't know yeah, you're probably not going to be able to pick that up or anything or hear that, but it's definitely misfiring. So let's see. Yeah, da, da. There are counters. Okay. Cylinder three is a dead miss. Uh, I'm going to see if I can, while it's still misfiring, I'm going to see if I can quickly grab my um secondary ignition pickup and see if i can catch that uh whether or not it's ignition or fuel so let me quickly try and get that set up okay so we got the pickup uh we got the pico scope set up and she is bucking um hmm. i think i'm gonna try and move this closer whoa okay all right, so we're ready, and we'll see on number one. Okay, we're capturing that. Now that is upside down, but we don't care. Um, it's capturing good signal. Number two, it's also good. That's firing. Number three, where are you? Nothing. There's number four. Nothing on three. Um, so we gotta find out if that's getting, is that intentionally shut down or not? Um, Cause it might be intentionally shut down. Um, so we will check to see if there are primary signals going to this coil. Okay, so I'm gonna be checking the, the primary signal, um, primary voltage pattern on that coil. So if we look here, um, you guys can see that each, each coil has a black wire in the front and then a red wire in the back and the middle wire is the the different um we might not see a primary pattern on any of these uh but we'll try the middle wire for our signal that'll at least tell us if this thing is being intentionally shut down because if there's an injector problem the computer might intentionally shut that down so we'll check that Check it on a good one first. That's in there. And let's change this to 10 volts. And we'll change that. Okay, so that's the number two. Um, hmm. It's catching some noise too, but that's okay. We can see that it's there. Maybe if I increase the time scale, we might be able to see two. Perfect. Okay, so we, at least we can see that coil is being uh, triggered. So that's number two. Let's check number three. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing's actually acting up. It's a dead misfire too. Yeah, da, da. Now, if you see that noise after that, I would have to almost think that might be um, a bad coil. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see if this, the good coil has that noise. It's, this one here has got a, the spike that goes down, but it doesn't have that kind of gap as well. Now, let's see if we can't see anything on, on the ground wire. Maybe. Uh, da, da. Go here to 100. Whoa. 100 millivolts. What an idiot. 100 volts. No, nothing on the ground wire. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can't see anything on this injector. Let me quickly pull this cover off and we'll see if the injector is firing. Okay, so this is got a cylinder three dead misfire. Um, so anytime you find a ignition coil not firing, you always want to find out is your injector firing? Um, because sometimes the computer can uh, command it not to, to fire the coil and intentionally shut it down. That can throw you for a loop. So the, um, I know I, I don't, <laughs> I'm really bad for not using the proper colors in the proper channels, whatever. Um, but yeah, so channel, the blue channel, that is our cylinder three uh, into the cylinder three injector um, pattern. Sorry, the blue channel is our voltage pattern on the cylinder three fuel injector. And we can see it, it is a good pattern. So if you look carefully, you can even see the pencil hump. So yes, we can say reasonably accurately that that cylinder uh, that cylinder's fuel injector is firing. I know, I think when I first started this video and started the car, I called it a GDI. It's not a GDI, it's just regular port fuel injection. I just got so excited that it was misfiring, finally. Um, so yeah, so we do see fuel injection. Uh, we see the electrical signal that suggests fuel injection. So yes, you could have a screen in there that's plugged and it's physically not allowing fuel to go through there because it's mechanically blocked but electrically it's working. So reasonably safe to assume that yes, it's working. Um, this red trace is the, oh, I should have actually set up the, whatever. So the red trace, that is the turn on signal for our cylinder two ignition coil. That's a good ignition coil. Um, and then the green trace is the turn on signal for the ignition coil for cylinder three, which is the one that's a dead misfire. Now we do see that the square wave is not as tall. I do have both of these on just auto ranging. So I don't know if, um, if it's just on a different scale. Let me bring this down. So that's a five volt. And then if we bring down Huh. Okay, yeah, they are. Um, oh, that's their problem. So you see the square wave, they both look the same, right? But the ground on them, the ground on the, the bad cylinder, so our green trace, which is cylinder th three, I know it's it's easy to look at this green wire, which is in cylinder two, but um, the green trace is in the turn on signal for cylinder three. And I'm looking at this square wave right here. It's not as tall as this square wave, but look at the ground. So if we look at the peaks of that, they're both at five voltage, five volts. Um, so if we're not speaking, I'm just, oh my, I've tried so many times to get this thing act up and this is an unusual thing. Your coil is not gonna fix that. We're talking like a computer or something because so the peak is fine um, but if we look down here we can see that lines up with zero volts on the red trace let's grab another cursor and bring that down to the bottom line so as you can see it's pretty close you know um, less than a quarter or a quarter of a volt 260 millivolts but if we bring down this green trace 
This is interesting. We can see two and a half volts. Um, that's a computer, folks. Because that's just a, a signal wire, right? So what's happening is, since this isn't, um, it's not the, the zero to five square wave that it's expecting, so that coil is never turning on. It's never seeing this signal because this ground is so um, elevated. Um, hmm, I'm just trying to think of, is there any way that that could be anything other than a computer for a single coil? Um, hmm. Let's go back to running this. I, I saved this pattern. Okay, so I can pull out of here. Uh, we won't, let's put the curse Let's put our trigger on um, which channel do we want that on? Maybe the green channel, which would be um, C. Okay. And where is that? Okay. Bring that down. How come that didn't bring down? Come on. Dang it. Uh, let's put you down to there. Eh, sure. That's not bad. There's still some noise in there, so it's not holding the... Whatever. We can work with that. So, I'm going to pull this guy out. I want to make sure that my power... And well, I want to make sure my ground, this black wire for cylinder three, is actually zero volts. So that would be um, that would be our yellow wire, which is actually the blue channel. So if we look at the blue channel, is all the way in the ground. Um, so that coil's ground is good. Um, So let's see what happens if we unplug it. Okay, so I got it unplugged. And if we look at this pattern here, maybe we can pause that. It's still at the elevated ground. We can see on the green trace, this is cylinder three, our bad cylinder, that computer turn on wire is not all that ground. It's still at two and a half volts, even though the actual ground wire to that is good because that's the ground is just for mostly for the coil so nothing could be back feeding nothing from the coil because that's unplugged nothing from that coil can be back feeding to prevent this ground from going all the way down so that's a computer no wonder why it was working for so long um, and then other times it's dead misfire I mean coils don't do that uh, Hopefully you guys are following this. Um, you know, it's possible that something could have been bad in that coil causing that um, that to have an elevated ground level, but you know, with it unplugged, it, there's nothing left but the computer. Um, yeah, and all the other coils are, are fine. All the other control wires are fine. This one's all the way down at ground. It's only ever been a random issue on cylinder three. Um, you know, they've had so many coils, so many spark plugs, so many, so many, so many, so many. Um, for so long on this car. So, um, I feel good calling a computer. Um, it's a good thing I didn't uh, bother throwing anything else in there. No amount of coils, no amount of replacement coils in that cylinder would fix this problem. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to source one out and replace that and see what happens after that. But um, yeah, this coil is not seeing and not registering its turn on command. That's not what I was expecting. But no wonder why it was such a difficult problem for a lot of people to figure out because most people don't use scopes and stuff like this. Um, you know. 
Yeah, it was cost lots of money and takes a lot of time to learn and be proficient and you got bosses yelling at you and whatnot. So you kind of have to do it on your own, but I like doing it and you get to learn neat, interesting things. Anyways, I was expecting this to be a longer video, but uh, I guess uh, in this time, you know, proof's in the pudding. That's all there is to it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. We'll catch you next time.